The back of the instrument is as follows. Here are some interfaces. Here is the air intake flow regulator. This is a pro for the environment. And this one is air supply flow regulator. This is air supply pressure regulator. There are two interfaces here. One is for connecting the vacuum pump. Connect here. Switch the vacuum pump on. This is the gas source interface. If it's an oxygen test, then this is an interface for oxygen. This is a socket for vacuum pump. The vacuum pump generates electricity from here. This is a power socket for our instrument. Here is the communication interface. Our instruments need to be connected to a computer for testing. This is an intake pressure regulating gauge. The put put pressure of the gas source is 0.1 MPa. Before switch on the machine, we need to add our coolant from here. Remove the black rubber plug, then add the coolant. About 400 to 500 milliliters. Wipe it clean. Cover the black rubber plug back. Now we can switch on machine. This is the testing chambers. This is a manual chamber cover. Open the chamber cover with hex key. This aluminum film is a fix when we ship it. Before the test, we need to check it if it is intact. If there is any air leakage or incomplete of the film, we need to replace it with a new one. If the aluminum film is intact, can continue to use it. Here, let's switch to another one first. Wipe the sealant on the edge of the chamber clean. The gasket can also be taken out and cleaned thoroughly. This is one of our filling blocks. This is a gasket. Then take out the sealant and reapply it evenly. Do not apply to the inner edges. Not requiring too much sealing grease. Just apply it evenly. Then we need to use these filter papers. The size of the filter paper is the same as the gasket. Placed on the gasket. Then take out a new aluminum film. The testing surfaces on both sides are the same. Close the cover back. Open the software and log in. If the connection is successful, the data here will be displayed. You can also enter the debug interface. Then click device debug. Find a correct serial port here. How to get this serial port? You can back to the desktop. Right double click this PC. Manage and device manager. Now you can see the serial port here.
Then click on the valve here. If you can hear the sound from the instrument, it means the communication is successful. Return to the test interface. Sample type is thin film. Experiment type is test. And the area is fixed at 50.24. To modify the name based on the sample and the test standard. Immediately enter temperature control status. After starting the test, when the temperature control reaches our set value, it will automatically enter the next process. All content of the testing interface is controlled by process settings. The first process is temperature control for two minutes. Each process is time control, vacuum pumping, air intake and testing. The testing time is currently 24 hours. Testing time can be appropriately reduced. Based on the stability of the sample, this is the calibration interface. The instruments are calibrated before leaving the factory. Customers no longer need to perform calibration. Here is the debug interface. Clicking on the valve in standby mode. Can check communication connection status. These are parameters, no need to make any changes. These are parameters related to temperature and pressure, and no need to make any changes. This is an automatic judgment. Usually, we set the testing time as the standard. Okay, we're already starting to vacuum pumping. At this time, you will hear the sound of the vacuum pump working. The upper chamber pressure defaults to one atmospheric pressure. This is a report interface. After each experiment, the report will be automatically recorded here. You can also to modify the report name. You can query based on date. This is a pattern of the report. Information that can be clicked to hide or expand. You can set the curve before export. Export and save it. The test result for aluminum film is between 0.06 to 0.1. This experiment is a very perfect. This curve is already smooth, and the result is within error. Indicates that the instrument has reached the testing state. You can replace the aluminum film with your own sample to run the test. If you want to verify accuracy of the instrument, you can take out a standard sample about 125 micron and test it.